Adventuring into the depths of the ocean is an extraordinary feat that demands more than just any ordinary vessel. It needs the use of a specialized vessel designed to withstand the immense pressures found at the ocean's depths. To put it into perspective, at a depth of 4,000 meters where the Titanic rests and where the ill-fated Ocean Gate submarine met its explosive fate, the pressure is about 400 times greater than that at sea level, the same force equivalent to balancing 26 elephants on the palm of a single hand. In light of these extreme challenges, let's explore some of the incredible deep diving submersibles designed to conquer extreme depths and retrieve submarine wrecks from the depths of the ocean. Number 10. DSV Alvin the Alvin is a manned research submersible owned by the United States Navy and operated by the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution in Massachusetts. It was commissioned in 1964, and since then, it has conducted over 5,000 dives, transporting scientists to study organisms that thrive under extreme pressure and darkness, and it holds the distinction of being the first submersible to explore the wreckage of the Titanic. It was designed as an agile replacement for the less maneuverable oceanographic vehicles, like bathyscaphids. Enhanced maneuverability is made possible by the utilization of buoyant and durable syntactic foam as a structural material for deep sea exploration. and is launched shortly before a dive and recovered after the dive using a suitable launch and recovery system mounted on the support vessel Normally, Alvin is transported on its support vessel, typically the RV Atlantis, although other vessels have been used as well. The vessel itself weighs 17 tons and features a 2-inch titanium hull that can accommodate two scientists and one pilot, allowing them to dive for up to 9 hours to depths of 6,500 meters or 21,300 feet. The submersible features two robotic arms and can be fitted with mission-specific sampling and experimental gear. The presence of these arms enhances the submersible's capability to safely recover other submersibles, and could have been used in the recovery of the Ocean Gate submersible if it had not been destroyed. In situations where the Alvin submersible requires additional support the Russia Consul class submersible can step in to lend a helping hand making the operation more manageable and efficient. The Consul class submersible is a category of two deep submergence vehicles constructed by the Russian Navy and operated by the Navy's main underwater research directorate. Originating in the late 1980s, these vessels adhere to a traditional design for deep sea submersibles, featuring a spherical habitable pressure hull measuring 2 meters in diameter and constructed from a 100 millimeter thick titanium alloy with a domestically produced syntactic foam used to provide buoyancy. The interior of the hull accommodates a crew of two individuals with three viewports on the frontal side along with external cameras. The pressure hull assembly is hydrostatically tested to endure pressures of up to 720 atmospheres while the viewports undergo testing up to 780 atmospheres. These units are engineered to endure pressures at depths of up to 6,500 meters, and their life support systems can sustain occupants for a total of 246 man hours. They are equipped with two robust robotic arms capable of handling loads weighing up to 200 kilograms, and they possess the capability to transport and operate remotely operated vehicles. In the early 2000s, the submersibles were utilized by Canadian film director James Cameron to capture footage of the wreckage of the RM's Titanic, resting at a depth of 4,000 meters for his 1997 film Titanic. Since then, these submersibles have been employed for a variety of deep sea activities in different locations. In the event that geopolitical factors hinder the availability of the console class submersible, the Japanese Shinkai 6500 can serve as an excellent alternative and potentially even outperform its counterparts. The Shinkai 6500 is a crewed research submersible under the ownership and operation of the Japan Agency for Marine Earth Science and Technology. It is launched from the support vessel Yokosuka and was initially designed in 1990 to facilitate dives up to a maximum depth of 6,500 meters. The submersible accommodates two pilots and one researcher, 
who operate within a titanium pressure hull measuring 73 millimeters, thick and possessing an internal diameter of 2.0 meters. The Shinkai 6500 is equipped with three viewports positioned at the front as well as on the left and right sides. Due to the absence of sunlight beyond 200 meters, the deep sea environment is shrouded in complete darkness. To address this, the submersible is equipped with seven searchlights, each equivalent in brightness to four powerful car headlights combined. However, even under favorable seawater conditions without suspended materials, these searchlights provide a visual range of only around 10 meters. After completing various deep sea missions, in 2012, it underwent a significant upgrade, marking the largest scale enhancement since its initial launch. In scenarios where the Shinkai 6500 faces limitations in venturing further into the ocean, the Chinese Jialong can step in and excel by extending the depth capability by an additional 500 meters. The Jialong is China's first independently designed and developed deep sea man submersible developed by the Ministry of Science and Technology and the Research Institute of China Shipbuilding Industry Corporation. He holds the distinction of being the Chinese Navy's second deepest crewed research vehicle, with an air weight not exceeding 22 tons and a payload capacity of 400 kilograms. It can accommodate a crew of three individuals and offers a life support system capable of sustaining occupants for up to 252 man hours. Unlike many of the deep submergence vehicles that have come before it, Jialong is extremely maneuverable, boasting seven propellers that can move it in any direction. The submersible is equipped with a high-speed underwater acoustic communication function, which can transmit underwater voice, image, text, and other information to the mothership in real time. Jialong successfully reached its designated dive zone at a depth of 7,000 meters, defying water pressure of 7,000 tons per square meter. During the dive, it effectively completed the appointed tasks of filming the seabed and using a robotic arm to obtain marine life samples, plus planting the Chinese flag at the base of the sea. While the Jia Long entered service relatively recently, in 2010, it's worth noting that the French Navy had already established a submersible capable of reaching greater depths than some modern counterparts back then, in 1964. The Bathyscaphy Archimede was a deep-diving research submersible of the French Navy. It utilized approximately 42,000 gallons of hexane to provide buoyancy to its float. The submersible was the brainchild of Pierre, William, and Georges, who, in 1964, Archimede descended into what was initially believed to be the deepest part of the Puerto Rico Trench, reaching a reported depth of 8,000 meters. However, it achieved an even greater feat on July 15, 1962, when it descended to a depth of 9,560 meters in the Kurule Kamchacha Trench, making it the second deepest dive ever recorded at that time. It remained in operation until the 1970s and was placed on reserve in 1975 and officially decommissioned in 1978. For many decades, the Archimede held the distinction of being the second deepest diving submersible. However, in 2020, the Chinese developed the Fendus, which surpassed the record set by the Archimede by diving more than 1,000 meters deeper. Fendushe, also known as Striver, it is a deep submergence vehicle constructed in the People's Republic of China by the China State Shipbuilding Corporation. This advanced vehicle has the capacity to accommodate a crew of three and is specifically designed to reach depths exceeding 10,000 meters. It is equipped with two mechanical arms, seven underwater cameras, seven sonars, hydraulic drills, and various other scientific instruments. It boasts faster diving and surfacing capabilities, and its crew compartment is constructed using a specially developed titanium alloy along with a new welding technique. On November 10th, 2020, Strivers successfully reached the bottom of the Challenger Deep, the deepest known point in the ocean, with three Chinese scientists on board. The descent was live-streamed, and the reported depth reached was 10,909 meters before the building of the Fendu Shea, which was a government-sponsored project. Canadian filmmaker James Cameron piloted his own deep-diving submersible called the Deep Sea Challenger, to roughly the same depth as the Fendouche. 
the Deep Sea Challenger is a specially designed submersible with the primary objective of reaching the Challenger Deep, which is known as the deepest point on Earth. On March 26, 2012, renowned Canadian filmmaker James Cameron piloted the craft during its second crew dive and successfully achieved this objective. The descent from the surface took approximately 2 hours and 36 minutes, ultimately reaching a maximum depth of 10,908 meters as measured by Cameron upon touchdown. This dive marked the first solo descent to the Challenger Deep and the first to spend a considerable 3 hours exploring the depths. It was constructed in Sydney, Australia by the research and design company Acheron Project PD in collaboration with the National Geographic Society and with support from Rolex. Australian engineer Ron Allum led the construction of the submersible in a small engineering workshop. Allum and his team developed innovative materials, including a specialized structural syntactic foam known as isofloat, capable of withstanding the immense compressive forces experienced at a depth of 11 kilometers. The unique foam exhibits exceptional homogeneity and uniform strength, surpassing other commercially available syntactic foams. It is equipped with advanced 3D cameras and scientific sampling equipment, enhancing its capabilities for deep sea exploration. While both the Deep Sea Challenger and the Fendo successfully reached the bottom of the Challenger Deep, it is important to acknowledge that they both fell short in comparison to the pioneer of deep ocean diving, which was developed back then in the 1950s. Nathy Scaife Trieste Trieste was a deep diving research bath escape that holds the distinction of being the first vessel to reach a record depth of approximately 10,911 meters in the Challenger Deep of the Mariana Trench in the Pacific Ocean. This remarkable achievement occurred on January 23, 1960, when it was piloted by Jack Picard, the son of the boat's designer and us Navy Lieutenant Don Walsh. Designed by the Swiss scientist August T. Picard, drawing on his previous experience with the Bathyscaphe NRS-2, it was constructed in Italy and launched on August 26, 1953, near the Isle of Capri in the Mediterranean Sea. Initially operated by the French Navy in the Mediterranean for several years, it was later acquired by the United States Navy in 1958 for the sum of $250,000, equivalent to $2.5 million in today's currency. The vessel featured a pressure sear with a diameter of 2.16 meters, providing accommodation for a crew of two individuals. Its groundbreaking dive to the extreme depths of the Challenger Deep remains a significant milestone in the history of deep sea exploration. While many submersibles have aimed to reach the depths of the ocean, the DSV limiting factor set itself apart with a more audacious objective of diving even deeper than what the ocean itself holds. Number 1. DSV Limiting Factor Limiting Factor is the pinnacle of crew deep submergence vehicles manufactured by Triton Submarines and owned and operated by Gabe Newell's Inkfish Ocean Exploration Research Organization. It currently holds the record for the deepest crew dives in all five oceans, including the renowned Challenger Deep. More than 21 individuals have had the opportunity to visit this deepest area on Earth using the Limiting Factor. It is commercially certified by DNV for unlimited full ocean depth dives and is piloted by an experienced operator with provision for an observer. It has been designed with an operational maximum dive depth of 11,000 meters, which represents an approximation of the full ocean depth, but the vessel underwent pressure testing to withstand depths of up to 14,000 meters, a depth that does not exist on Earth. It exhibits exceptional maneuverability as it can travel on three primary axes with a significant amount of vertical movement during its operations. It has a dry weight of 11,700 kilograms and a payload capacity of approximately 220 kilograms. The vehicle was commissioned by Victor Vescovo at a price of $37 million and has been utilized for various exploration missions, including identifying the wrecks of numerous warships resting in the deep oceans, like the U.S. Johnston at a depth of 6,469 meters and the U.S. Samuel Roberts at 6,865 meters in the Philippine Trench, 
representing deepest dives on wrecks to date. Additionally, it has been employed in dives to explore the French submarine Minerve and the RMS Titanic. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure to check out on this intriguing video on the end screen to learn about the 10 deepest places on Earth where you will be shocked to discover that the deepest point on Earth is not found in vast ocean depths, as many believe, but rather within a fascinating man-made phenomenon 